Hey guys, today I am going to answer the question if MetaZoo is such a scam, which it absolutely is. I don't know how anyone can say it's not a scam. Their, their best case scenario is file for bankruptcy, which means some people don't get paid in case you forgot. That's the whole idea of bankruptcy is you owe a lot of people money, but you don't want to pay them back, even though many of them have already paid you, i.e. native pre-orders or players who have paid a lot of money to travel and play the game of MetaZoo. They become the MetaZoo champion for the $50,000 prize, and they don't receive a dime. So again, how was Alpha Investment so wrong about MetaZoo? Uh, his title is Alpha Investments. He's mentioned uh, MetaZoo, but the FOMO, right? Like, So we have a box that probably cost him $40 to buy. He was selling one kit at eight, one of these boxes per kit at 820. You get five kits at 8,200. Not 10 kits, you get five. So each kit beyond the first kit, um, if you wanted five kits, it would cost you $1,640 a kit. So $1,640 a booster box if you wanted to buy that much of it. That should be a huge red flag that this is something wrong because if you wanted to buy more of something, shouldn't it be cheaper, right? What are you really saying about how high can the FOMO be that people would pay double or at, at 16, that 40 times the price that the person buys it at to get this box 41 times to be exact. That's pretty crazy. So in addition to the FOMO, which really should have been, this isn't even the first edition Cryptid Nation. We're talking about the, sec, the, the second set. Second set, first edition. Um, a lot of people, I mean, again, you see $1.8 million. You cannot say this company did not have the money. So it wasn't about the money. They had plenty of money. It wasn't about the distribution. They're in every Target, Walmart, Claire's, Hot Topics, wherever they want to be, they were. It wasn't about the collaborations they had with Arby's or they wouldn't have with Arby's. They were in uh, Hello Kitty was a big one. Collector Con, they were everywhere and might have been collecting. It wasn't even the influencers. They had Pay Money Wubby, they had Alpha Investments. They had sports card investor Jeff Wilson. They had Steve Aoki. I mean, they had everyone and their grandmother promoting this product. So when you talk about the marketing, it's kind of spot on. It's just incompetent management. And that is exactly what happened here. And when you talk, you listen to Mike Waddell, right? The largest MetaZoo channel right now is prop per video, right? Is probably... Uh, Nick Strength in Pokemon and he actually covers it. I cover it ironically as a FU to uh, Alpha Investments because he's never going to live this down. His face is on everywhere. His face is everywhere on the product um, and now he's got smarter. He realizes that he for sorcery for instance instead of having his own promo he has a promo with uh, w without his face that is completely unrelated to his name um you know it's uh have you read the scarlet letter uh the john i think his name is john williams right um there's the character but it's my name right it's my name and he wouldn't say that he's not a witch or so so on and he run away with abby i think it was a movie i was actually no i was it was a movie right and he sits there saying, it's my name. And what he means back in the olden days, it's your reputation. It's your word. It, it means something to him even beyond. Like he would rather die than disrepute his name. MetaZoo has certainly disreputed Alpha Investment's name as he's in playmat selling for a penny on eBay. His promo cards are just basically garbage. Um, and he's still, I mean... He, <laughs> He and his family made artwork, which will probably be the last card ever printed in MetaZoo with his uh, Crown Eater promo sets. I mean, it's his name. 
and he's probably realized that um, he probably got high off the $1,000 Flesh and Blood Rudy promo card, which doesn't have any liquidity. No one wants it. It's selling for less than $500 right now, and no one even wants to buy it. So he got caught up in the FOMO, and I do think that they did him dirty. Now, he probably made millions of dollars from it, so he's okay with it. But his name will forever be attached to this product. Even Nick Strength, um, he is um, really, really kind to Rudy sometimes. But he's he's torn Rudy apart. I know Jake G. I mean, the people in the MetaZoo community, I mean, they have a failed card game. And all of them have bundles. Uh, who knows how many playmats of alpha investments they have, right? That can't be a good feeling uh, when you're seeing this product being dumped. And the Mike Waddell character, again... It's just poor management. They had everything to be a successful card game. They had fans. They had the player base. They had a collector con, right? They had some of the largest influencers in this space. Alpha Investments out for Magic the Gathering, largest influence, one of the larger influencers in that space. They had sports card investor Jeff Wilson, one of the largest influencers. And then Jeff Wilson has a massive store. Steve Aoki actually just visited him. Huge influencer in the card space, right? I think uh, Steve Aoki actually is still doing Hero Quest. So if you go to CollectorCon Houston, one of my friends took a picture and it was Hero Quest is still happening. Um, my understanding of what exactly happened here was it could have been something really, really big. It could have been, but it grew too fast. There was too many people trying to pump and dump it. And honest to God, like at the end of the day, when, when you sell something for $820 that you bought for $40, like how greedy do you want to be to your own patrons, right? And you're already paying $10, $1,500 to be a patron a month. Then you say, hey, you want five of these. I will sell it to you at $1,640, $1,640 for each of them. That's when you know the FOMO is out of control. The fact that if you were to buy five of the same item, you don't get a discount. Typically, when you buy five of the same item, you might get a discount, a bundle, right? Actually, I'm talking to this guy on eBay for his Weiss collection. I'm not... Imagine, like, trying to bundle up five of the same card and then realizing, oh, this guy wants more money from me. Not he... You know, let's say, imagine that you have five $100 cards on eBay. And you bundle it and you say, hey, can you give me like a 20% discount because I'm buying so many. Prob guy probably in Japan would probably say yes to me. Now, can you imagine if that guy responded, I was like, I have five $100 cards. Can you bundle it for me? And suddenly the bundle not doesn't cost $500. It costs $2,000. Because each card is more expensive to buy. Like, But buying five of the same card... He's not going to give me a discount or give it me to like the original price. He's going to double the price of my five cards. This is unheard of. What Alfred Investment did here, I have never seen this done before. Um, where supposedly, I guess in very, I mean, have you guys seen this biz, this pricing model? Like, take a look at this pricing model. Think about it for a moment. I know the Timmy's are kind of slow. And tell me, have you ever seen this before? I've never seen it before, and I certainly haven't seen it in stocks and bonds. And met I've only seen it here. And that should have been a red flag. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Bye, guys.